Welcome back to another episode with Bearded Bass, and if this is your first time here, my name is Caleb, and you tuned in to one of the most exciting series that I look forward to all year long. That's right, it's Wednesday. It's a windy Wednesday nighter out here on the Delta, and if you don't know what that is, it's a little turkey shoot that we do out here in Stockton. It's from 4 o'clock to dark usually 8 30 later in the summer we'll push it back to nine it's fifty dollars a boat no membership fee nothing like that blast off at four o'clock it's just a blast um usually pay out to five spots depending on the amount of boats that show up but it is seriously a good time today is going to be a little bit interesting because weather is going to be playing a big factor into tonight we've had some Halfway decent weather, pretty mild in the low to upper 70s, a couple 80s here and there. But today, it's cold, it's windy, and it's supposed to dump from like 6 to 9 o'clock. So we're expecting like half an inch of rain here. I just literally put away the rain gear. So obviously I jinxed, my, jinxed myself and shouldn't have done that, but... Stay tuned. I'm waiting for my dad to get here. I dropped off my boat at his house last night because I'm driving from the completely opposite direction. But without further ado, let's get on some fish tonight. Yeah! Alright, Pops just got here, about to put in the water, got the old Merc, there's quite a few people here, 10, 15 boats, but it's supposed to dump on us, so it'll be interesting to see what happens, but we're getting in the water, check-in station over there, live oil check, let's get it. Episode 3, we're on the water. Looks like there's quite a few boats out here compared to last week. I would say at least 30. The, I guess the weather didn't scare them off. As you can see, we got a little bit of waves out here in the main channel. We got some ominous black clouds in the distance. It's definitely gonna dump on us tonight. Um, Pops, what'd you forget? No rain gear. <laughs> Pops is gonna get soaked tonight. That'll be that'll be funny. Yeah, hilarious. Especially for the drive back at like 8:30. You know he's gonna be a little chilly, but. We're out here on the water, we got Pops, we got the sticks over there, Kent and Chris. Chris was the one that won it last week with 19 pounds, so we're just going to go to the same spot we hit up last week and fish slow and just try to break it down and uh, hopefully catch a couple big fish, right? Soap. Yep. Dad's got the big baits tied on, so uh, hopefully this storm's got him chewing, so definitely going to get out there. Little guy. I did. I. <laughs> I just heard him. I didn't even see the first fish. I don't even know if it's keeper though. No, it's not. You think so? Big fish right over there, in between me and you. Good one? 
Yeah, he's a keeper, three pounder maybe. No? Yeah, it's a decent fish. Yeah. There you go, Pops. Two. Little guy. Now I might need to measure. You think so? Yep. 12 or 13? 13. 13. It's definitely not 13. Oh. 12 and a half. What? Yeah. Not a keeper, but a fish. Yeah, little guy. I think, yeah. He's a keeper, but. There we go. Yeah. That's a fork. Heck yeah. Good job, dude. Sweet. <laughs> Four pounder. There we go. He's a better one. Sorry, fish. Dude, you freaking hurt that one. Nah. Another two and a half. Oh, that was a big fish. Got out of his mouth. That was a big fish too. Holy crap! I saw him coming. He did. There's a good one, good one. Nope, not as good as I thought it was. He hammered it like he was a good one. Decent fish though. Heck yeah. Boom, baby, boom. Really? Sweet. The same amount of water back there as there was. A Okay. He's a keeper. Is that? that the fifth one? Maybe. All on frogs? All on frogs. Boom, boom. <laughs> oh, he goes. He's 14. All day. Solid fish.
definitely anticipated that bite. There's two fish at the same exact spot. Do you want to call them or do you want to? Little snot. That ain't going to help. I don't know. He's running out to deep water. It'll help. Right out too. Now, he ain't a big one, but. No, he's not. But he'll get rid of the one pounder. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you wrench a fish in. <laughs> he should have shoved that in quick, didn't he? New leaders, huh? Yep, 2110. 2110. There you go, boys. <laughs> Holy crap, was that something that was definitely something no we had a blast out there tonight sorry i didn't do a whole lot of film and i gotta apologize to you guys during the weigh-ins because the rain was just coming down out there you know this was an unexpected little spring storm as you can see i didn't put rain gear on till like i was completely soaked so i am like soaked head to toe the boat is soaked it's gonna take a good week and a half for this thing to dry out gonna have to pull everything camera gear got soaked but hey it was a good fun showing for us um, we ended up with 16 pounds 1606 we were one fish away we were literally one check away um, first place ended up having 21 pounds that was Lamage Plaza he stroked a solid bag today second place was a little bit over 20 Mario Gardia had big fish it was a nine big nine pound fish that choked a frog uh, third place was 18, fourth was 17, and we missed a check by one spot. We had 21 boats today. We needed 23 boats to pay another place. So if two of you guys would have shown up, I would have got paid. So thanks for not showing up. That's, that's hurtful, guys. But hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a blast. Anytime I get to go out fishing with Pops is a blast. Caught almost every single one of my fish tonight on a frog. So you can't beat that, man. Probably caught 20 plus fish on a frog tonight. It was a lot of fun. We grinded out one area, didn't run around a whole lot, only ran to one other spot, and we just kept grinding. So it was a blast. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And remember, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And remember, any cast can be a giant. Peace.